A SCHOOL IN MOURNING. TODAY, HUNDREDS OF STUDENTS, FACULTY, AND STAFF GATHERED AT A DIXON MIDDLE SCHOOL, MARKING THE LOSS OF A BELOVED TEACHER WHO DIED IN A CAR CRASH OVER THE WEEKEND. KCRA3'S LINDA MUMA IS JOINING US LIVE RIGHT NOW FROM C.A. JACOBS MIDDLE SCHOOL WITH WHAT PEOPLE ARE SAYING ABOUT THIS TEACHER. LINDA. Colston, friends and family tell me that 31 year old Katie Anderson was a standout teacher who cared deeply about her students and made math fun. Pretty much everyone we talked with knew her here on campus, and they tell me it was important for them to gather here to remember her. It's the first day of summer break at CA Jacobs Middle School in Dixon, but hundreds of students and staff members returned to the campus Monday to pay tribute to 31 year old Katie Anderson. She filled the room with joy and learning, and she really touched the heart of not just my son, but many children. And uh, it's really sad that we actually lost a wonderful teacher like her, and she will always be missed, but she will never be forgotten. Anderson was among three people killed when a pickup truck overturned near Interstate 80 in Fairfield Sunday morning. We're torn up. Katie, um, she'd been with us for three and a half years. She was a math teacher for us. A lot of kids don't like math. They like math with Katie Anderson. She believed in them. Um, she loved them. Um, and the kids knew it. The CHP says Anderson, along with two other people, were killed when the truck they were riding in was speeding and unable to make the curve as it got off westbound I-80 at Manuel Campos Parkway. The truck went off the roadway and overturned, throwing two people from the vehicle and trapping two others inside. Dolan says the only person to survive the crash was Anderson's brother, who suffered major injuries. We're going to really, really honor her memory and make sure what she stood for um, continues here because she was one of those people who just did everything right about, about working with her colleagues, about working with kids. And today, Anderson's husband flew in from Germany where he was stationed with the military at the time of the crash as well as her family. They also flew in from Iowa. And coming up tonight on KCRA 3 News at 6, we'll show you how the school rallied around the family to honor Anderson this afternoon. Reporting live in Dixon, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. Well, her legacy will live on in the students that she affected and helped uh, with math. So uh, uh, just a really tough story there. Linda, thanks.